Regina, the capital city of Saskatchewan, also known as the heart of the Canadian Plains and Queen City, as Regina comes from Latin, which means queen. And in this episode, we want to show you some of the best things to do in the city. And we're staying at Hotel Saskatchewan, which is one of Canada's historic railway hotels. Not only is it beautiful, but it's a great place to stay because it's walking distance to most of the city's top attractions. A great place to start your visit in Regina is Wascana Center, an urban park built around Wascana Lake. Yeah, it's hard to believe this whole area is man-made. It used to be just a small creek, but then in the late 1800s, they dammed it in order to provide a reliable water source for the town. It's now bigger than Central Park in New York City, and not only is it a beautiful place to go for a walk, but it's home to some of Regina's top attractions. Such as the legislative building, which we're going to explore next. Welcome to the Saskatchewan Legislative Building. The tours that we have here are about a half an hour long. Uh, we'll learn about the history of the province, the history of the Legislative Building, as well as the government system in Saskatchewan. Another place you don't want to miss is the Royal Saskatchewan Museum, a natural history museum that's just a 10 minute walk from the Legislative Building. Inside you can take a journey through over tens of millions of years of history, going all the way back to the dinosaurs with the most famous one here being Scotty, the most massive T-Rex skeleton ever found in the world, right here in Saskatchewan. But there's other interesting exhibits as well where you can learn all about the biodiversity of Saskatchewan, the world's population, and of course the First Nations where you can learn all about their traditions and way of life. RCMP officers are born all over the world, but they're made here in Regina, Saskatchewan at the RCMP Academy Depot Division. And right on the front lawn of the historic training facility is the RCMP Heritage Centre, which brings to life one of Canada's oldest and most iconic stories, the story of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. And we do that in several ways here at the Heritage Centre. We have six different galleries. One talks about the history of the RCMP. Uh, we have one gallery that is strictly artifact based. We have one about policing in the north, First Nations policing, the RCMP musical ride, and several interactive exhibits. I'm usually not a very, very good video game driver, but in the real life, I'm pretty good. Okay, let me take it. A fun place to visit is the Saskatchewan Science Center, which is actually located in a former power plant. We just finished our visit and we had a blast even as adults, as they have so many interactive exhibits where you can learn and play at the same time. How was it? Good, I don't need to work out today. Such a good core workout. <laughs> it was like 30 seconds. <laughs> Alright, let's see how fast my slap shot is. Shoot. Oh, it's a target. Watch the shot block. Yeah, they actually have over 185 exhibits as well as the only IMAX theater in the province. And what's really cool too is they focus a lot on Saskatchewan, so things like agriculture, mining, but a lot of other exhibits as well. And they also of course have traveling exhibits and right now they have the first traveling exhibit that they created. So even though you might not see it here, you might find it somewhere else. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> what did you like the most about it? Just being able to be goofy and have fun. <laughs> And we got all the gear for tonight's game at five. Yeah, football is so popular here in Saskatchewan, and more specifically the Rough Riders, so we couldn't miss a game while we're in the city. No matter where you visit, you should always make an effort to eat and drink local, and the best place to do that is the farmer's market, which is right behind us. But there's plenty of other places to do it as well, with two of the most famous neighborhoods being Cathedral Village and the Warehouse District. And during our visit to Regina, we were able to go to two local restaurants and breweries. We went to Rebellion, which is one of the most famous breweries here in town. And we just learned that Saskatchewan is the biggest producer of lentils in the world. And they have a lentil beer here. Oh, it's pretty good. 
and it doesn't taste like lentils because <laughs> I don't like lentils <laughs> and we went to the newest brewery in town called Pile of Bones where they make their own but also have other beers from all over the province this one's actually kombucha and for restaurants we went to Sky Cafe and Bistro which is inside the Saskatchewan Science Center and we had awesome Mexican chilaquiles and for supper we went to one of the most famous restaurants in town called Avenue and we tried their famous beef wellington But now in honor of game day we're gonna go check out the Saskatchewan Sports Hall of Fame which is just right across the street Right now we're at the Saskatchewan Hall of Fame, which was established to honor all the outstanding Saskatchewan athletes. However, now there's a mix because they have an exhibit from the Canadian Forces where they're showing different artifacts of also outstanding athletes that actually joined the Canadian Forces. So definitely, if you're into sports, this is a place to come. Ready for the game. Visit our website at mustdocanada.com. Woo!